What's up guys, you playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies Solo Dolo and you die and you come back with no weapons, do this first. Alright guys, man, so I just put an all-nighter playing zombies, man, at least eight or nine hours zombies. I learned some really cool things. Now, when you die solo dolo or you die in general and you come back with nothing, um, you notice how you don't have your primary secondary weapon. See that little checkbox, equip free loadout? Make sure that's checked off because it's better than going out there with just your fist of cuffs. You're not going to make it, <laughs> you know? Um, or at least it'll take a while to get your stuff back. So definitely, if you check that box, you'll at least come back with a pistol. Now, the second thing I would say do is head over to that Arlov military base because it's going to be some things you need, of course, when you come back. Weapon, vest, and a revive kit. Those three things. Weapon, vest, revive kit before you even start really doing missions and um, pretty much going out there and doing what you want to do because you will have no chance without a freaking real weapon not no pistol so i don't know if you guys noticed but in that map on that part of the map towards the upper right there's a little guard shack that is where i found my first case with a weapon i don't care what kind of weapon as long as it's not no freaking pistol <laughs> And there it is. That is a automatic shotgun. Now, it may be another weapon for you. Just depends. It's random, but that case will be there. That little guard shack, that is a, just a good point of reference. Uh, it's really small, and you'll notice it, like I said, um, on the top right area of that map. And I'll show you guys again here in a second. Now, another good place, guys. I'm going to show you guys on the map right here so this is where we came from as you can see the far right of that base that little tiny building right there that is um, that first weapon case and then there's three bunkers these underground military bunkers awesome loot spot guys freaking awesome loot spot man this is where I found even more weapons to get me going well actually weapons if you don't find a weapon at least you'll find some freaking thing you can use just to get a good foothold in the game without getting overwhelmed now imagine right now with just a pistol you're out <laughs> okay cool you know what drill charge fine i'll take it it'll it'll get me out of a freaking jam because i don't know how many times i, I i've done this uh last night and i just got overwhelmed with just a pistol so as you can see um, up the stairs is that little uh, green weapon cage, I call it. There is going to be something there. A really nice weapon. Actually, it's a blue. Looks like a, yeah, so it was an assault rifle. And there you go. Something is better than nothing. Look at that. Boom. Another drill charge. Now, away from that. And then just, yeah, these zombies freaking annoying. So now this is that second bunker. I'm in the second bunker right now, and yeah, the freaking zombies are annoying as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? All right, so bam, you know what I'm saying? So here's that second uh, bunker, and then boom, a nice MTZ 556, an even better assault rifle than the one I had, and then again, just like I did the first bunker, there's a weapon case or a cage, boom, freaking M16. And boom, another case. More armor and another, um, not a drill charge, it was a landmine. All right, now, just to show you guys again, on the military base, that's where we came from. And this is yet another building. Looks like an L-shaped building or whatever it is. Like a um, uppercase L-shaped uh, building. There's going to be some loot in here. Mad loot up in here. As soon as you come up those stairs, boom. Look at that. Claymore. You know what? I'll take it. You know what I mean? I can help defend myself. All right, boom. And then there's going to be a case here on these um, wood pile. Revive kit. So now we got two out of three things we really need just to get going. 
Uh, we got a, we got two weapons now, primary and secondary, and we got a freaking revive kit. So at least if we do get down solo dolo, hey, we can come back. Now you see these snakehead trailers? Those are a good loot spot as well. There's gonna be some nice merch in there. Look at this freaking. If you're a sniper rifle person, hey, there you go. There's a nice. Um, looks like a 50 cal freaking sniper rifle right there. The Imperium. Never heard of it, but hey, if, like I said, if you're a sniper rifle person, there you go. All right, check it out. Boom. Like I said, I mean, I'm not a sniper guy, at least in zombies, and I'll show you guys in a second why that is. But if you're really good at sniping, hey, there you go. All right, so fast forward now. We just left that little military-style trailer, and if you notice, there is, like, this little train station. Or it's like a... Um, it's like a I don't know, it's like where they hold the trains at. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you call a freaking place, but there's trains up in there, so boom. Um, very, very good loot spot. This little train, I call, it a, I call it the train depot. Right next to that military-style trailer. Bunch of these freaking loot boxes, man. Loot box, look at this. This is the one you want. You got everything right there. Kill streak, your vest, which is the third thing you really need. And yet another weapon. Looks like, a, I think it was a blue weapon. Blue or purple or green, whatever it was. Just kill these freaking zombies. They're annoying, but if you kill a bunch of them at once, then you don't have to worry about them for a little while. So, boom. Looks like a shotgun, blue shotgun. That turret circuit, I'm going to show you guys what that does here in a second. And then, like I said, you got a vest. And that one actually had a kill streak. So, very, very cool. Um, and again, I just freaking farmed this train depot. I just saw so many. Now, that circuit card, it goes to those deadbolt turrets. That's how, because if you ever walk up to that turret, um, you don't actually mount that. You actually put that card onto it, in it, and it will activate that turret to fight zombies for you. It's really good when they are near an extraction um, cause it can help you while you extract. So boom, here's another, uh, freaking loot box again. Got a green weapon and an, uh, another armor plate. There you go. At least now you got a real good fighting chance. You got a really good fighting chance. Cause like I said, you got the three things you need at least to get yourself going. Uh, uh, revive kit, vest, primary, secondary weapon. Now, this little building here, I'm going to show you guys why I really enjoy coming and looting at the military base. Because you will find some awesome stuff. Here's another weapons locker. Got a two-plate vest there if you don't have one. And another sniper rifle if you're a sniper guy. Alright. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys why I don't snipe. Because <laughs> I'm just not that guy. But if you are, hey, that's, that's awesome. Here's why I don't, because I found myself in this situation right here, almost getting clapped. <laughs> it's very easy to get yourself in that kind of situation, man, especially solo dolo. So that's what I do, guys. Um, pause the video when you get on the maps, like I was showing you. The Orlov, or Olov, however you say the freaking thing. Uh, military base, very good place to get your footholding before you even start doing your missions or free play or whatever you dare to do. Get those three things, man. The revive kit, the vest, at least the two plate vest, and primary secondary weapon. There you go, fam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, let me know in the comment section. Like the freaking video. Subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace.